Hello everybody and welcome to our second game of the third place games, qualification round two of the Ultimate Team Tournament 2. And uh, having just lost the first game in this series, uh, it is currently playing on the south side of Eindhoven country, helping hands as the Brits and Von Aston as the Soviets. And on the north side we have Ford OKW, Toton, and for the Wehrmacht player, Opportunity Cost. Axes are one zero at the moment, they won the first game, so this is the second one. Could be the side game already, or an ace game, depends who's gonna win. Stumpen here already straight going to the fuel, and we will see first engagement very soon. Nifu Section also rushing for the fuel side. Trying to get some green cover, Stumpen here should be going to the wall here. He has to fall back a little bit. Yep, so in the, the last game when we saw actually uh, Hans playing OKW and uh, Opportunity Cost playing uh, British, we now see a complete reverse of that. And uh, now it's helping Hans trying to defend... Actually, sorry, it's uh, Photon playing OKW, so the drama... <laughs> it's about to go into some drama then, Stern Panther, but it didn't... Sadly, it's time not. Ah, it didn't, didn't come through. <laughs> We see uh, the same tactic which Van Aston did in the semi-finals. He goes for uh, armored assault tactics to get radio interception versus the Wehrmacht player and straight goes two pioneers into sniper. Yeah, I really it like that. When we saw Von Aston earlier playing armored assault and going for the sniper, just you can tell he's listening to um, to the radio interceptions that come through. He knew when the counter sniper was built. He knew when any kind of uh, light vehicle came out. And uh, he actually had that sniper, I think, in like 20 minutes of the game. Like a really good number of kills. And having the recon from the sniper was the, the big thing, I think, for him. So well, hopefully we see another great uh, sniper gameplay. Well, Pioneers should retreat now. There's a currently the NMG in this retreat way. As he does, the sniper is coming now on the field, but sadly he has no introductory spot for him. Because both pioneers have to retreat too far. Um, we have normal start, we have go sniper, means Axis kept the map first, and we have two victory points for Axis. Draining down the victory point, already two victory points each three seconds. So second shot goes on the MG. Hands here, he's uh... Managed to secure the fuel on there at the start. You can already see the allies are just starting to lose the primary engagements uh, on this match. And, uh, what, what they really don't want to happen, which is what happened in the previous game, is to lose a lot of those resources quickly, to lose the uh, to lose the fuel and have double fuel for their opponents. And of course, when Von Aston is playing the sniper as the first unit from Tier One. Uh, Von Aston is going to be quite slow to, uh, you know, get territories. It's going to be harder for him to cap because he's only got the two engineers and the sniper. Fortunately, now the conscripts have started rolling out. And uh, when he does get uh, a couple of conscripts, the sniper on the field, he will have a pretty decent army ready to push the map territories. Yeah, I'm wondering right now that Helping Hands was going with all this infestation in the middle right now. Because Sutton saw this, of course, and said, Okay, you're a middle, thanks. I will trap the right side for free right now. He did sandbags on the enemy fuel, kept the right victory point. And taking right now five mid squads for the Brits infantry. Opportunity yeah, cost back. is uh, opportunity cost is going for that uh, sniper for the counter snipe. And uh, we'll just go on to Von Aston's player card so that we can confirm that Von Aston hears it when that sniper arrives on the field. A squad wipe in the center though, Von Aston lost uh, one of the engineers. Yeah, Schumpen, you're yeah. way too strong in situation. And he had no health at the moment, so he's still now going for heal, which is good, but... Sadly too late, so first wipe goes for Axis. Oh, I think, I think Von Aston would have just seen the sniper there. Of course, he had already heard in his uh, headset that the uh, enemy sniper had been built, but... Uh... Sniper just kind of revealing itself to the conscripts anyway. I think then opportunity cost. A little bit of a misplay. Great from Von Aston too. Uh, he's managed to decap the strategic point on the left. So uh, Axis, no, uh, well, they've got fuel from the right-hand side, but they're about to have no fuel income in a second. 
Price nice made there, but dodging here, but still land process a little bit in trouble. But intersection coming to help. And we see another commander pick. Totem going for the Yak Tiger commander. The new engineer there. section is waiting for orders. Oh, oh the <laughs> sniper gets the last shot! That's beautiful! I think the sniper got it right through this little uh, gap there. That was a master shot. Really, yeah, to shoot from there to here. 50% and we what we need that actually because the victory points again almost 100 victory points down because of the triple cap They need to stop it He's wire in the right side instead of capping victory points, okay Stern Panther it is essential that that truck is wired, please <laughs> uh, game, game decider <laughs> <laughs> You wait till here. enemy units which are nowhere near that area come to that truck they will be thoroughly confused. Opportunity cost, I think he realizes his sniper is uh, not gonna get that counter snipe right now. Um, is just gonna open up and start firing at the conscripts, which I think is a good idea. It is, because he knows that from us is probably going for again armor assaults from the same as before. So you can't wait for the counter snipe anyway, so make the manpower deal. Uh, two, two, two is in production right now for the Wehrmacht player. And Mesh set it up from Totem, so probably Puma or Stuka next. We have a new scout car. And here is the Puma. Nice. It's funny actually because they've uh, they're building the scout car. Understandable, the Puma. I mean, there's no uh, vehicles from the Allies yet, and so the Puma can be negated if it's kind of like spotted first, and they just decide. You know, okay, let's uh, not build <laughs> any light vehicles, the boomers, you know. Yeah, it depends. I mean, Van Aston could go for the center, but maybe he's going to skip it because Puma is on the field, but... To say this still is still a nice unit if you play defensive. Oh, actually the sniper, if you look at the sniper of the Soviet yeah. player, it's a bug, it's not hiding at the moment. It's not in cover, you notice it. He can get a shot on a 2 2 but 2 2 should be safe there. Rifle coming into the middle. Okay, that's the Puma spotted. And Alice is uh, stabilized right now, middle right side under control. And they should focus now on victory points a little bit more. Snipers again, not in cover from Soviets. But uh, completely on the other side versus each other, so we can't fight at the moment. Sniper's in a great position here because uh, obviously he's going to be able to get good vision for the uh, the six pounder AT gun there. And uh, this is what we saw from Von Aston in previous games. The sniper was a great uh, recon unit. Just have a quick look at the match stats. He, I think you can see uh, helping hands Von Aston having a much better game at the start already. Down with 22 to 9, and this is important now. They change it around and hoping for it. Atigan tries to hit the Puma, sadly misses. Stone there. Nice flank on left side. Trying to take the points. victory point, placing double minor left victory point. Also sandbags on the fuel side. And oh, the, the scout car. Oh. The scout car, I think it knows where the sniper is. is Spots well the mine. Konski pouring in, he has a teammate, but not a range for it. Looks like Exes are playing more middle right now, but now, never mind. Three Grenadiers with all LMG out. It's like officers in trouble. What is helping us doing? We're tricky right now, but a lot of stuff still there. Yeah. But the Grenadiers are focusing. Thank you for him. Yeah, I think Axis were ready to push down the center then, but they are getting uh, their fuel capped uh, in the west. So, uh, actually, of course, opportunity cost has now been torn away from the central engagement. Again, this is just good for the uh, for the allies. They're just going to continue to stockpile resources. And of course, the, the Axis are just trying to get to a position where they can uh, group together and fight a really good engagement through the center. It's just, it's just being taken away from them. Motor pit up as well. We checked out the middle victory point, which is important, but they need, they lost the right victory point again, so... But Helping Hands is going for it. Very soon. So many mines you can hear. One's just gone off here for the Grenadiers, now got another squad going in. 
And uh, can I assume, yep, two models dropped with that one, so very effective mine. It tries to retreat to the left side, actually, this grenade going down. Yes. If he goes more forward. I mean, right now it should be fine for retreat, but if he goes more like staying behind the green cover and then retreats, then he's dead. He doesn't do it yet. There's my enemies fighting around. They have no idea about which snipers because both players are not using the sniper at the moment, almost dancing around only. Yeah, Von Aston's playing it sensibly though, taking it over to the right hand side to uh, help hands. You could say that Von Aston is helping hands, which is very confusing. That's <laughs> nice there. Uh, mine got spotted from Sturmpanier on the road. Just start to it and um, the Stuka's in production now. We are to the teams. To the enemy. Another, yeah, mines, more mines. It's, it's really nice, especially versus Wehrmacht. If you have only four models, each mine drops two models down. It's always careful. Super good got snared here from the conscript, it does. It has a tweet there. Land officer pushing in, throwing a nade on the tree. No, not on the tree, no, might. So he survives there. But going again for the right victory point decap, so they're focusing really hard on victory points. Let's go on cooldown in the 2 2 Four seconds left and he can throw another T nade in the construct. Yeah. But he has to retreat because there comes the grenadiers. And a sniper shooting as well. This is a long retreat way now for the construct. But his Siskan is waiting for it. First it connects. I think he's got sight. I think he has sight from the engineers. Nope. It would require one hell of a shot to get it there. He's going to go for a barrage. The barrage, I think, may have took a little bit of health off of the scout car then. That was a really good, really good idea. Oh, folks in the right side in trouble and get going down to land of a nice pickup there. Yeah, that's, uh... Von Aston's sniper play has been great. 16 kills at the moment, uh, and you've got 10 for opportunity costs. So both of them using the snipers really well, avoiding each other. We're just kind of waiting for that, that counter snipe. It will likely happen at some point. Uh, but here's the first shot from the Stuka. We've seen some terrible Stukas today. Is this one Snap. going to be... <gasps> I saw the sniper dies because just walked into the Stuka, but only splash damage. And the sniper is ill. As a retreat, full retreat was in the Maxine, uh, not the Maxine. MG42 as well, because of the flank. Could be going a decap actually right now, yes. Yeah, it does. Let's play here, and the map looking well for allies right now. The can back is real. Nice Absolutely. control. Yeah. I mean, allies have been, uh, sorry, Axis have been on like plus 13 fuel for a while. Um, Last in the helping hands, plus 29. I mean, they're going to be able to get uh, really, really good vehicles out onto the field quickly. You have a look at Von Aston. He's got his tier 4 up in a very weird position behind helping hands' base. And um, so we should be seeing those T3485s 85s roll out soon. I can only assume that's going to be what he goes for first. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting actually that Von Aston built his T4 completely in the backboard of the base, like not to show the enemy that he built it. I wonder, I mean, like, if, if that's why he's doing it, I think that's really, uh, cool. But, um... We have a mortar team available for deployment. I mean, there's no reason to build it there. I mean, there's, I mean, there's nothing, there's no heal for your pioneers, so... Is he standing anyway, on the uh, mine so close? Photon, Photon didn't manage to take down a Maxim that was just on the retreat there. And I think he's going to be really, really upset by that. Von Aston should, by all rights, have not been able to get that unit uh, safely back to base. A good rifle right, grenade coming grenade. here. That's a great rifle grenade. Can we see two squad wipes here on the retreat? It would be huge if Opportunity Cost could get this. He's got to go for the Engineer first. The uh, LMG was reloading. Is there anything to chase that in on the retreat? I don't think so. There's the protection as well for the sniper Stuka coming in now for the middle. Focusing on the weapon tips in the middle. That's a nice hit. I think it's a crew. This is the time now for the 2 2 and Puma to push in. A little bit, but here comes the Royal Engineers. Protected, but I can 
actually Oh, this was super close. You managed to get into the intersection to save your T-Gun. Important pick here. On the scripts, they do have the AT grenades, so uh, opportunity cost has got to be really careful there. The T-3485 is now on the left-hand side, and it's ready to go and help uh, deal with uh, the Axis. So this gun is a little bit out of protection there. Uh, Fortunately, we're flanking the system, not moving yet. Maxine is trying to pin down, finally gets it. Uh, left side, the Wehrmacht mortar got stolen from, from us. Nice pickup there, and it's a loss for opportunity cost. So they have no counter to the Wehrmacht uh, for the mortar pit anymore. I like that here, right side from Totem play. I like just to say, this is Shrimp here, just to ignore the order resources, just go for the victory point to harass them. I like that to do that as well. Because yeah. the force helping hands again to say, okay, I need some units to go again to right side and threaten my victory point. Yeah, it always, I think, benefits the Axis to spread the allied players out as much as possible uh, and then just have good engagements. Like, um, because if you're gonna, if you are gonna group everything together, then that's where you start suffering kind of like abilities like the uh, IL-2 strafing run. And in the middle and in the, the base, I like that. The T-Gun was almost dead because the Puma killed it and both Pioneers was full repairing their T-Gun. This is, this is such a good play because normally if the Stuttgart hit it, again the T-Gun would be completely destroyed. But they full repaired it, so nice play there from the Allies. See, yeah, Von Aston is just chasing the enemy sniper right back into the base. Uh, instead of going for the D-Cap, uh, Hans, by the way, started to get upgrades now on his infantry, so he's going for some uh, Bren guns. Gonna use the uh, pyrotechnic supplies to uh, relay for artillery in this area. Which uh, we just see those artillery pieces getting ready to fire now. And uh, Volksgrenadier is very, very close to this uh, area. They don't want to be walking past that whilst. Is being yes, British artillery is there. Oh. I'm surprised that we see uh, still not two commander picked yet, and of course, just when I say it, opportunity <laughs> cost just instantly. Diego <laughs> Armored Doctrine to get a recon plane on. So, hey, what's going on? Here comes the Stuka, sees everything, tries to get a good hit now in the middle on the intersection for the G. But no, no. Goes a different aim angle, okay. Then just for the sniper, let's say he tries to find the sniper from Von Aston. You can actually see bait. that Von Aston's tier 4 is, is uh, you know, is not visible to the recon plane, so maybe that is what he was trying to do. It's a really cool play if uh, if that is what was happening. Katusha is out on the field. See if we can get a nice shot like on the left side of the MG and Puck is completely staying there. And Tigan gets a hit, actually could be a Faust here on the T43, so can I deal? Just a little bit, another Puck 40 is in production. Uh, helping Hands just brings out a Comet to the field, so uh, Katusha and Comet. Oh, look, really, really good. Point. If, oh, point. if you retreat now, can I deal through the mine? It's down! The MG goes down that tree. That's such a nice mine. And that mine's been there all game. We just don't have uh, mine sweepers on the. Uh... Mine in the tree, then he goes. Brumbre comes in. Perfect hit, all HP gone. Boomer as well. And could be another shot. A strong attack with Boomer. Going for it. Well. T4 got spotted actually from the combat to your right side. Oh uh, no, there were sappers there before actually. Uh, trying to capture the uh, point, so... Uh, sniper, by the way, opportunity cost sniper spotted by the uh, British Tommies. Uh, Rumbear's gonna come and deal with that. I mean, with the uh, opportunity cost now, I mean, he's uh, gone into the tier 4, and uh, he's a long way off getting something like the Elephant. So, uh, Commander Pick, he's got the Rumbear. I mean, they've got a long time, really, to, uh, to last. Left. And the sniper is also in trouble. It rinse the sniper. One rocket hits the sniper. Second could hit, but miss. Okay, 
Time to repair the OKW T4 right now. Half health already. Shuka is shooting as well now. Sees the T gun and the land officer aiming for the T gun. This is hit by mine. Oh no, never mind. He doesn't hit. The T gun goes down. I'd say that's really good actually, and even getting the mine uh, destroyed there is uh, is pretty decent. In the center, uh, opportunity cost is trying to get to grips with the center VP. They've got the left hand side at the moment. Von Aston looks like he is going over that way to uh, contest it. But uh, Thoton, again, the right helping hands. Once he's captured the right hand side, he kind of like disappears from it and goes to the center. And that's uh, allowing Photon to get a pretty easy recapture. We might even see an Axis triple cap for a few seconds. Yeah, I think he should use his uh, Vickers and just place it to the right side victory point because they can't lose the right victory point. This is the allies right side victory point. And obviously this costs so much points of it. Another recon plane comes up. But I think we have a... Oh no, we don't have any 5 we cancelled it. I was thinking about it, so he sees everything again. Got snipers in base, so all safe. Here comes again, then 5 to counter the recon plane. Probably chasing right side, unfortunately, here, but full HP so should be no problem here. Oh, oh. <laughs> actually it was a nice hit. Big hit. <laughs> And please help again. Put oh, this is right nice. Right this is really nice. Pack 40 on the left hand side utilizes target weak point, and there's just not enough players using that ability. That allows the Puma to go in and just get a couple of shots. And uh, fortunately, the T34 was not closer when target weak point was uh, was used. Okay, Rukin is finally gone, so we can use the sniper again from us in the middle. The sniper is full retreat instantly across. You have the skill planes. From us, it's a mental damage. Now it's the time to push to all the victory points. Mortar hits, hits and nice hits there. Don't surprise me, flank is conscripted, and she was able to pin down and currently comes to protect this. Stinker shooting in the left side, it's been middle, aiming for both this guns, getting some models but no white ball. And again, I'm told on this right that push. <laughs> this guy always goes to the right looking for Gosh, trying to keep control of all of the indirect fire on the map right now. <laughs> but uh, Hans got a good grip here on the right hand side. Tommy's in a good position. Comet's just there to support every time. T3485 is now pushing units off of the left hand side of the map. The uh, AT gun, the Pack 40. Trying to get up there, but I think the T3485 is going to flank it. It's going to cause problems. There really isn't that kind of support there uh, for opportunity cost. And uh, here's a Katusha, I think, to try and deal with the uh, machine gun on that point. One model remaining, and there is a squad of conscripts to try and cut it off on the retreat. Yeah, it's down, actually. If we steal it fast enough, and also the yeah, T-Gun is in trouble, actually. If a T-Gun goes down, so both weapon teams are gone. Sniper has to take care of it. He's got the wheels. He was trying to counter snipe, but nice reaction from Aston instant retreat there. Rumor makes it raise. Counter shake. MG is almost there. One more shot needs to connect. Can he get the angle with crown attack? He's trying to and actually almost kill both MGs there. That's a really also good shot, by the way, to uh, to get that Vickers. Uh, sorry, to get the MG42 back. Rumba now is. Uh, just dealing huge damage to the AT guns. There's a T-3485 on the left-hand side, which just is not active and could really be useful uh, in, in helping to hold this. Comet now is in range of Faust from the uh, Volksgrenadiers, and a Faust is going to go off, but they have to retreat before using it. Allies suddenly in a, in a tricky situation where they're starting to get pushed back. Don't lose your quad in the middle, facing Puma and a T-gun is a better deal. This is probably a dead and five, T3485 though does find the rear armor of the Broom Bear, and uh, this has to go down really. T3485 has only got a few chances to try and maybe get around the back and see if it can penetrate. Otherwise, it's just gonna it's likely to bounce shells off from the front. I think the T3485 is gonna be unsuccessful here. This might be a bad move, but no, it does penetrate. 
That's good. And now the IL-2 is coming in. Oh man, got destroyed. Are you kidding me? The Puma could be dead as well, or the Panzerwerfer. That's unfortunate. And I'm wondering, to be honest, that there was a comet chasing together with the T4G the Brombear, and Happy Kenshi said, No, I don't chase with it, sadly, because if the Brombear has, if the comet has chased with the Puma or Panzerwerfer, would be dead as well. Oh, Ricky playing Crash in the middle. It's a moment of. Sadly, the comet didn't push together. Not triple cap for allies now coming. And for us, uh, Felping and still has no command level yet. Certain command points. We can't decide. Going landmark chase, going perimeter overwatch. But we should coming in in the middle, trying to kill him. Some pest was in the crew mode. Also the panzer we have trying to hit. Really nice attempt. They've nearly killed the uh, Soviet sniper a number of times with the Stuka, but Von Asten's been very, very lucky here. Let's just have a quick look at the stats once things are a little bit quieter in the game. So you'll see, you know, like, uh, opportunity cost falling down a little bit. But uh, helping hands, like, let's have a look what he's just teched. He's got another Comet out and it's just taken his army value sky high compared to everyone else. Yeah, it's looking like the first uh, series when they played allies, and I really hope that we don't see again a Puma killing double Katushas from Von Asten because, like, like in series, it looks the same. Ali is looking very strong right now. Double Comet, out, as you said, and Katusha. Our capture point. They're oh. trying to take it. I'm right now for allies. Can go. Can do it. Because Elephant is not nearly close. He has no fuel for it. So Foster is only relying on the. Right now, it's a shooting right now in the middle, aiming for AT guns probably. The left is gone. Oh, the AT gun in the middle. Snipers, by the way, are coming in within range of each other. They're very, very near each other right now. I think Von Aston might be going for it. You can see him cover hopping. We'll keep an eye on that one. T3485 on the right hand side with two comets. They're trying to clear out the uh, castle ruins. And try and keep Photon away, and now we have a, a Panther on the field to help the Axis with their push. Panther's got a lot of work to do. Now our region plan comes in, so Sniper gets revealed. It's, it's really sad that M5 died. Now the Kadusha Rush coming in, trying to kill him at T guns. Ooh, I could put actually kill that T gun. This is still double Comet. This is Panther and Puma on the right. I have to focus on victory for first two cats or again right side Stuka coming in in the middle probably on sniper next 50 kill. I'm a 50 kill um, because Oh Hans has actually taken a Faust on one of the comets. There's a Puma and a Panther there. Still the Puma does have to be careful. Great smoke from the second comet to try and help defend the comet as it gets out of there. But the other comet is below half health at the moment. Panther should get a pretty decent shot up here. There's the Faust! That is gonna be one of the comets down. Beautiful play by Thoth on there. And uh, a really, really important pickup. I think Photon now is actually confident to go in after the other Comet, knowing that it was Fausted. This is a beautiful play. Photon, he's got a ground attack nice now through the smoke, around. and it misses! Another great smoke there from Hans to try and defend it. That is this truly is beautiful play. Probably pushing in the middle, probably shooting an edge again now. Let's see, cool. This was very risky. Come back to the middle, it's the middle, I guess, okay? Hans, we have almost right the conscript in the crew, but... Yeah, as you just said, it looks so well for allies, but... One minute later, almost both comets going down. Kind of in the middle from Soviet. And rubble. Yeah, yeah, I mean, all it takes... Up. All it takes is that, you know, that one... That one good push from the Axis when they do have... You know, all of the vehicles there and the right army. Uh, allies now, they've got the VP lead. They just need to come back a second, like assess the situation and then go back in with the same. If they keep trying to play these like small skirmishes up the map and just keep being forced back to retreat, I don't think they're going to have much uh, success. This is a lot. So the Miller's gone there. <laughs> but uh, both Panzer is just pushing forward, giving line of sight for the Gunder. It's a deep push over Katusha. Shooting now. 
Ich kann auch so Panzer werfen. Land my friends is on the field now, shooting as well in the minutes. Artillery everywhere right around the middle area. But double victory points for Axis. Yeah, well. Hands, um, I think. The sniper is there, by the way. From a pretty cost of sniper is gone. Yeah, what happened there? <laughs> I'm actually not 100% sure if it was a counter snipe or the Katusha, one of them. But anyway, the sniper is dead and we have a Vet 3 sniper with 36 kills from from Aston. Got played there for, for this. I think when Aston is trying to go around the back and, and find that Panzerwerfer, two pack 40s are set up uh, waiting. So uh, that's going to be quickly negated. There is a Comet and an SU-85 in the center. IL-2 has just been called in to uh, take the support weapons and the infantry away. And the Panther finds itself with rear armor up against the Comet and the SU-85. Yes. Giving them a little time right now. Skipping, but this was the last time. They're going to the moment. <laughs> Oh my god, the plane just crashed and I think it killed the squad from helping hands there. Aside from that, I mean, there's a lot going on right now. Now there's some uh, Stuka fire to deal even more damage to the units on retreat. 80 gun and machine gun gonna have to retreat back to base and reinforce. Oh, and I, I, I hate it. It was a mistake this left side. The uh, pioneer from, from us was staying in cover and not kept the original point like, for a long time. Finally noticed it. Possibly from Katusha coming in the middle, this could be a good one. Full in retreat, oh it doesn't retreat, it's nice play from Koto, he's just pushed forward to dodge the Katusha barrage. Got yeah. some more kills coming in. Mills bomb, could be decent, some damage, but nice dodge here from Photon. Photon's been uh, really, really good under pressure when it comes to the Mills bombs. I don't think Han's been successful uh, once yet. And allies still have a grip on this. Axis down to 150 VPs now, but it feels like quite a slow VP drain. Uh, it doesn't feel like allies are actually dealing with the Axis quick enough. They're going to start getting stronger and stronger. We saw one successful push. Axis are going to be ready for another one soon. Oh, so beautiful. The Puma there with the stun shot. Panther with the yeah, second shot. Again, right side is completely in control from Totem. Few Moody and victory point. So at the moment, Alice is trying to get the left victory point. Atigan is. should be a real position right now. And then, when actually, when Atigan hits the T43 and he falls, he gets it. Lamish <laughs> is going into the middle of Atigan. Not reacting there. Panzerwerfer coming in to counter maybe the Pan the Lambda press. Will be able to it? Oh, it's close. It's oh, really, okay. really close. Nice I think uh, Photon here has seen that there is a T-34 on the left-hand side of the map, which is possibly undefended, so the Panther and the Puma are coming in. There is, of course, an AT gun there. The Sniper has to get away. If the Puma sees the, the Puma here is taking... No, the Puma is taking a name shot on the Sniper! Gets the kill on the Sniper! That's beautiful play with the Puma. The Sniper has been so valuable to Von Aston, and now they might be able to even deal with the T-34-85. Beautiful play. Playing one with two right now. Oh, that's that's sad. It's, it's the poor ability shots. Slight the side The enemy now have two hundred coming in. Probably in the middle of two guns and like officer. On the first of course. Too sure. Oh, Axis actually managed to get, uh, I think for a, a short amount of time, a triple cap. You can see how quickly the Allies' VPs drain during that time, and they're, they're slowly starting to, you know, get control over the Axis, uh, sorry, over the Allies, and, and just keep pushing them back. There's there's a lot more retreating going on from the Allied side now. Listen, it's hard because the Brumbe right now is in such good position, oh. uh, hiding behind the spot. There. Nice dodge from the mid spawn and they can't yeah. attack the boom there there because it's just crowded hit all the time over the house. So maybe we could be safe here. 
left side trying to flank the Wehrmacht play around. It's sadly not enough to conscript, but is able to get a man on G. Good. Tries to steal it, but it could be losing a conscript there if he goes for it. Does another conscript is actually continuing in. He really wants that. Maybe right leg going in on the MG right now, coming in. <laughs> and he it again. This is no engine damage well. I think that two AT grenades from the conscripts there landed on the Panther. Didn't manage to get the uh, the snare in. The SU-85 is hanging around to try and help with that. And Mattress in on the center, but there's no units there at the moment. And Han's still kiting with the uh, Puma on the right-hand side. There's so much artillery going on at the moment. So much artillery, and actually... I don't think we've seen any decisive artillery, anything that's particularly brutal in the game so far, but you've always got to be moving those support weapons, you've always got to be reconfiguring everything, and uh, that's the problem with so much indirect fire. It will hit at some point if you're not careful. Keep going in, he's able to steal the MG from the left side, Stuber going in in the middle, no wipes though. And yeah. We see, we see actually a long time ago, uh, under his triple cap. Good, Prumbears. Repositioning to the left side with the Prumbear and a T gun. So a big push to the left victory point. Panther from Totem going to the middle, so Axis say, okay, we focus right now the next minute, left middle. So the fight is out of position here. Prumbear coming in. A T gun sets up. Good, get a shot in as well. Yeah, he's got to get around the rear armor, and actually the SU-85 is just managing to block it here. Great support from Photon with his uh, Panther. Is uh, able to take the SU-85 down, and now Opportunity Cost has just got to prioritize getting out of there as quick as possible. Von Aslan hasn't even turned his AT gun around to help. Oh man, I'm sorry, this was a bounce from the 85 to the Panther of the Wehrmacht. Could be a dead Panther. Full destroyed here. And Hans has got to be careful here. Hans is dangerously close to losing the uh, assault officer. Hans is just taking his time to uh, get a pack 40 down. And uh, there's a Katusha strike. Also Again, all of these crucial, but yeah, as you say, Panther trying to get on the uh, T 34 85. There is another, uh, sorry, this is a Cromwell that uh, is helping to defend now. Here comes the skill planes. Hans Werf and Stuber Stuber schon in der Level gekommen, aber es ist wirklich fast immer gefallen. Kronberg tries to kill the Wet 3 Siska, but now is in a bad position here actually. Kronberg and Comet trying to block in the Mentors. Somehow how has he managed to get away with that? How has he killed the AT gun? Gets his Wet oh. 2 armor skirts and somehow is managing to get away. Just pinging shots off of the uh, Cromwell and the Comet. Now the uh, Panther hey. is available. There's uh, oh, and bounces again. And now Comet is important. He got Faust to prepare here. Smokes away. Panther's single dive. Yeah, he will dive. Here's a Panther and a Puma. Go for it. One shot needs to connect, and he does. Both the two guns actually hit for kicking. I think it's one more shot. And Comet can he kill it? Drag a Panther from the armor. It oh. does. And it goes down. Panther ref is out of position, but it's. The Puma, nice ability shot, so it's blocked the shot. Gunner and Comet go, uh, is down as well. Well, it was, uh, it was messy, but the Allies are still putting up a really good showing here as they march up towards the Axis base. Axis are now back, they're trying to repair everything. The four pioneers for opportunity cost whilst he tries to deal with this. And uh, where have we got... In the middle, trying to get MG for white. Oh. Almost. And as always, Totem goes straight to right victory point, says no triple cap for us. I get it. And Puma's down in the middle. Nice Katusha Barrage protecting the victory point. And it's really helping hands need to put a MG on the right victory point. They're losing always the right victory point. <laughs> they need the triple cap. He's trying to get them back to the middle. That's, that's an interesting decision. Here. Yeah, that's a really interesting decision. At least the VP is neutralized. But, um... I'm not sure if it was worth it though. No. Almost one running in right now. Nice ability use here from Breakthrough Tactics to speed around and kept fast the territory. 
Once he comes up first, he's really good energy. Oh, nice. So nice smoke to help his units cap. Very, very nice. And also, you see there Von Aston with the uh, recruit MG42 using his incendiary rounds. Then the left side is in favor, but also Pax coming in. This should be a victory point for Pax is in left side, so they need to capture the right victory point. There's nothing. Yes, Comet spotted. Of course, to find some easier to retreat, and now he needs the infantry section moving up, but it takes time. Kruger pushing in left side, Mr. Bromba together. Nice to show the, the, the T34 85 Stun Panther just not moving at all. Nearly, nearly went down there. The AT gun, he's gonna use the ram. They want the Brumba so much, they managed to get a crew shock. And there is a stun, but the AT guns I don't think are actually able to penetrate the armor of the Brumba effectively right now. So the Brumba is gonna get another shot through. And it should, I think, wipe at least one of the teams it does. Panther has just gone behind the AT guns searching for the Katusha, but Von Aston a little bit cleverer this time. Gotta look at that, the Brumba is still alive. Incredible. I mean, the Brumba actually, of course, uh, in recent patches had a bit of a buff to its armor. And uh, it's serving it so well, especially with the Vector C2. Trying to hit the picture, what you do it to do. Can't decide, kill Brumba, focus Panther. Oh, just no. Oh. This is a full oh. combat, nice to be made, but combat is down and what a draw of allies. Oh, this is a combat what? Lost, five lost, two Siskans lost, and G lost. Wow. If you look and at the graph right yeah. now, uh, Stern Panther, you see something really, really like crazy. Hans and Von Aston, uh, are that's territory. huge. That's really, really huge. And I think they may have just given this series uh, to Opportunity oh, yeah. Cost and Float on there. Yeah, that was a complete control left side, certainly. And the problem is full repair again because so many pioneers preparing the room on the left side. <laughs> <laughs> it's five pioneer squads, four from there, but one of the W player. <laughs> that quick anymore. repair is crazy. Oh wow, okay. the vet, the vet three Brumba, and the fact that you've got such quick repairs is just an absolute nightmare for them to deal with. Brumba's chest is strong unit. All it's important. The push in the middle, getting the one victory point. If he can get the wicked points, maybe they can play in middle and right side, but when <laughs> somewhere when the Pumba just comes to the middle which is going for right now, they can't capture the middle point anymore. And no tanks really for uh, Alice and Mobile. There's one Cromwell and one thirty five hours. Thanks to Nate or Panzer if you're coming into the middle one Lancaster obviously has some trouble here. Oh but the Stern Pioneers oh, get wiped the there. Ball. Yeah, by the AT gun. Huge hit from the Brumba, manages to wipe his Zis. The uh, Cromwell finds the Puma, and that's a really important pickup, but he has to get the Cromwell back out of there. Oh, skill planes coming in left side, maybe they killed some, a lot of stuff. Pioneers with Pioneers, trying to help Soviet armor. Pins down the speeds actually, and he can't get the point and MG40 is waiting for him. But it was a try. Enemy threatening a capture point. And you can see already again, Toto is right side cap, over some folks who can go to right side. Could be another triple cap incoming for Axis. Damned enemies trying to take a point from emplacement under attack. I seem to stop right now. T-34, sorry, the SU-85 being chased down by the uh, Panther, and there's just nothing defending it. SU-85 is just going to have to try and micro around it. He might get a final shot off on the rear armor. He does, that's good. Panther's got to get out of there because of the conscript with the AT grenades. It's risky, but I mean, the way the Allies have played in the last five minutes has just left Axis available to make these kind of deep pushes. Katusha in the middle trying to kill MG, and also Panzer will give it five for treating two Katusha barrages. MG goes completely down, one rocket could kill the Panzer for some years, one running down, would be such an important pick, that it survived. Panzer oh. in the middle, on the barrage, and I, intersection sadly got wiped out there, and he has a triple cap for excess. 
every second that I think allies are about to get back into this, the Axis managed to claim it mainly by indirect fire um, and those really cheeky dives with the Panther. That's exactly what the Panther is meant to do. Uh, you know, highly armored, highly fast and, and just cause that kind of uh, problem for allies. Uh, Hans and Von Aston don't have much time. There's 115 VPs. They've managed to stop the triple cap. But uh, it's not nearly enough for what they need to do right now. Nothing to get pressure to your point right now. The infestation is too far away at the moment. When they're doing this job, you're in the middle of too far away. And they're hitting a shot here from Super 5. Gets snared on action, action damage. It's connected, but you can't chase. And oh boy. <laughs> in the middle, I just noticed. I was waiting for you to spot it, Stone Panther. I just, I don't know, like, I don't know, like, even though all the planes going off and the tanks and everything, there's still that really distinctive sound of that King Tiger engine. Um, and uh, this presents a ridiculously impossible task for the uh, allies right now. They have to win this game to uh, take it to an ace game. If they lose, of course, we'll be moving on to the finals. Coming in, nice shot and we're hitting very few. Two men down, should be dead there, it does. But yeah, tell me from Aston, how would you want to get our middle victory point versus Brombear and King Tiger? Well, they have got the SU-85, like, if they can get, well, they've got Veteran C2 on the SU-85, which I think gives the, uh, look, penetration and accuracy, there's a bit more reload speed, I think, with Veteran C3, if I'm not mistaken, so, um, it yeah. would be okay, but still, you know. Oh, yeah, but here comes Canadian from it. Gets actually some uh, shot break hidden. We have got the two again from the King Tiger shot. Kronsky pouring in, probably try to turn the King Tiger. It doesn't, it should be enough for action damage. Nice hit on the from again. Both Canadians almost dead. One goes down, the second one. Nearly one shot needs connection from not surviving here, Panther pushing in, it's 35 with the Tigan as well. This is going for the chase, it does one connect, one miss it, engine damage, now a manga destroyed. Should be a damn one. Chase the second to the front as well. Oh, well, I think they're getting in. desperate now. I, I think they're desperate. The Comet is trying to get around the back of the Brumba, but the Panther comes back for support. Pack 40 there as well, so. Uh, sorry, the Cromwell has a lot of uh, work to do here. His rear armor facing to that Panther. One more shot would be would be the end. But fortunately, SU-85 manages to get a good defense. They're now capping the center VP, so allies are kind of back in this for a moment. I cannot tell you how much work the SU-85 has to do in this game right now. Okay, I have to do the in the middle. Has to keep that across the King Tiger. One comes from Pioneer Sadly by Jones. The pocket oh. is low for from Aston's 45, 67 for Captain Hans and all the excess tanks are just to be repaired with the army of opportunity cost with the pioneer's army on the left side. Katusha coming in in the middle, victory point, clearing out Nate from the land officer. Doing some damage. Oh, they've nice saved it. The grenadier coming to the middle. Panzer Werfer coming in the middle, it's could be hard. The conscripts missing goal. Look at this, they're just going for the snares right now. Hans and Von Aston are just so desperate to get that snare off so that the SU-85 can go in and you see it rolling up the field now. But missing the shots. Trying to steal their T-gun, turning around and this is now the time for it. If the drone dives in, sees the Panzer Werfer. Panzer Werfer could going down with shots connect. Also, T can see Panzer Werfer going down. One more needs place 35, try to hit a drone there. Drone there going down. It's a really good play so far. Perfect drone flank. But don't forget the victory points, guys. Over the dark in the middle, clearing out the MG, and it's 60 to 60 victory points each order. To the five Khan penetrator. We've lost Cromwell tank. Uh, King Tiger. Well, it can when it gets veteran C2. It's going to be a lot right. better at penetrating now. The SU-85 again, such a key unit. You can see the range it can penetrate at. 
probably the only thing that's able to stop the uh, King Tiger and Opportunity Cost knows that so he's going to try and dive in with the Panther. This is a mistake though. It hits a mine and now it opens up the opportunity for the Cromwell and the SU-85 to get the kill. This is beautiful. There are still even VPs on the table right now. Axis have got to drain, but there is an opportunity for the SU-85 to be effective here against the King Tiger. What a chaotic game. Indeed, it is so many waves in the last two minutes. Katusha coming in to clear out the middle victory point, and now he needs to put from us the MG42 to the middle, but he doesn't. Strong attack. King Tiger tries to kill the MG, misses the shot. So it comes a recon plane from Opulent, because to give line of sight for ET gun and King Tiger. King 5 gets him one hit from the T gun. And she got stolen in the middle and LMG can they will wipe the MG in the middle out there. The need infantry kept to the middle. The land was just shooting in and if they would hit one time the pirates but it would be brutal. But almost like team goes down. No, no! What is Heavy Guns doing? He's moving away from the victory point. I don't know, he's actually going for the AT gun. Which is uh I don't know why, because he was on top of the VPs. Von Aston's gonna have to run in there and cap cap it. Right side, felt nice flank again as always. Token goes is right, right, in abuse. But oh! Stone Panther, it's a beautiful AT grenade on the Brumbar in the center. The two SU 85s are there, they are ready. Even the six pounder managed to get a penetrating shot. Brumbar goes down. This is <laughs> so huge. I think they might be able to come back from this. And on the right side, folks, and they're going down to the Chrome, and Chrome is doing a nice shot there now. Take the right trigger point. Yeah. After the throw of the von Aston left side victory point, Alex throw uh, access throw hard and to force oh, half HP at the moment carrying to get a Yak and the four hours. Um, one single time and if the Katusha or Lamatrets kills all the pioneers, the game is over. But still alive, but the pioneers are all that zero, so no extra repairs for them. Both of 52 minutes in the game, 40 victory points with 50 victory points. Well, I mean, I mean, it's still neck and neck at this point. Uh, Axis really just have to uh, make a solid push. They're going for a Jagdpanzer IV to try and deal with uh, the SU-85s, I'm assuming, but... Uh, this is going to take a long time to get those units down. One of uh, Helping Hands Cromwell's actually has war speed, so we'll be able to get around... Uh, turrets and so on in the center very easily. IL-2 comes in to stop the capping of the point in the center. I think we're about to see the Cromwells now go in for the King Tiger. This is a beautiful play from Helping Hands. Can we see the King Tiger go down here? Yeah, the fives have to push in as well. Help your mate, bro. 540 is dusting now. This is real armor actually for the city. Five is perfect from the King Tiger. One hit seven the broom there. One drop so is down and if this is a fail push, Axis will win. Both combs are down already and no Axis take that, yes. King Tiger is still alive. Panda is pushing down the real arm of 25. Oh, the King Tiger goes down to a really, really big shot from the SU-85. But the Panther getting around the back armor of the SU-85s. Is there anything to defend against it here? It Helping Hands is trying to keep control of that center VP. They're desperate to keep one of the SU-85s alive, but do you know what? If the SU-85 goes down now, it's not that bad, I think. Hands trying to push up with the assault officer just to try and stop any units getting on top of the VP. But look on the right-hand side of the map! They have no oh. presence on the VP! It's, it's one single MG all the time. It's like 20 times total does it. And does it and does it always again. And look at Von Aston's trying to take a Katusha over to the right-hand side to kill it. Let's see if it's any good. Wipes it. No, it doesn't. Or miss it so far. I mean, it, it gives them time. Yeah, but Han look at the squad that Hans has got going over there. I mean, it can barely... Uh, I'm surprised they're not going to die from fatigue on that kind of health. I'm not sure actually if Lennox will win this fight, actually. Actually, the first thing will win this fight. He can't attack the right victory point. This is brutal. No, I think he's, he's just got to. Right yeah, he's got to park the squad on retreat and get the Cromwell to push them out of there. But I mean, they really do not want to have this point capped by Axis for even like a moment. I think this is uh, lucky from hands here to be able to deal with this in time. Uh, Cromwell, by. Sorry, <gasps> something. Unfortunately, maybe. It's 
Oh, it was so close if he would be not, but he was able to capture it. Means the train going down. But there's still 45, so it should be fine. But then here comes the panther to the right point. side. Take and help him. We have Panzer Fusiliers and Obersol Garden, and there's nothing to stop with both of the infantry. He's speeding up right now, five minutes squads. It's a mine though. This is nice. Where's the 35? Both tanks coming in. Jack Panzer 4 and Panther. This is the fight right now about the right victory point. Lack of a strategy. <laughs> what a shot of the Glomer. This is the game change, probably. That five points are going down. Obersol going in. If you yeah. Where's the infantry? Katusha okay. coming in the over for the But not enough time yet. He needs to use the Royal Engineers to go to the right side, but he's not doing it. I don't know why. I think Hans, move your infantry! Move your tiger! <laughs> I mean, even if they do capture this, they've still got to drain 40 VPs from the Allies. Nevertheless, SU-85 goes down there. Uh, Von Asten definitely doesn't want that situation. On the left-hand side, the VP is being contested. Engineers up against an MG-42 will assume that that squad gets suppressed and can't cap. But uh, look at this. Opportunity cost. 56 minutes into the game, using his pioneers to push around Conscript and Tommy squads in the desperation they have. Uh, for these VPs. By the way, because of the decap on the left-hand side, allies still uh, draining down the Axis VPs very, very slowly, however. Jack went to fall solo, but he has more range in the Chrome, and so he's safe. Should put probably a TM forward, but he does. Here comes. What is this he happening? Brave, nice support. Here. Could be killing the Stopping is doesn't yet. Jack misses sadly, but he's survive. Or should be a dead normally. Shots to the neck, hunter down. Moves the Tiga now in the right side, get pushed there. The Tiga comes to Pioneer squad. Force land a little bit to free, but the L2 strafe could be enough to save her at point actually. And it does. Seems like MG going into the right side from Toto to stop the victory point. Will the L2 strafe enough? Not sure yet. Drama needs to help there, but he can't, he is repairing it at the moment. Yeah, so I think he's trying. <laughs> I think Hans is trying to get the crew of the AT gun to shoot at the MG-34 here. And I don't come to command. What get pinned? Throw the nade, is enough? That is. That is still coming in again. Damned enemies trying to take a point from us. Wow, like Von Asten just getting the resources for an IL-2 there probably saved them uh, in that engagement. Photon and opportunity cost, like nearly nearly had that they've managed to recap the victory point on the left hand side and uh i've got to say helping hands on von aston at this point have uh, already played three games in a row three intense games in a row in the last series they lost the first game of this series but this is so impressive uh from them what they've come back from is like an insurmountable amount of axis armor vetted infantry and just look at the army that is left for photon on opportunity cost I think even the Axis Commander has given up at this point. 10 VPs remaining. There is Allied Infantry on the center VP. I think it's safe to call this a 1-1. A, a and uh, we will very shortly be getting into Game 3 of the third place games. What an incredible game. GG, well played.